A beautiful housekeeper falls in love with a rich man and realizes that their feelings are mutual. Soon it turns that he is husband of the billionaire's granddaughter, but the girl is ready to hide in the role of mistress until she learns that she works in her grandfather's house and the rich Harris is her sister. The series begins with the fact that a girl named Angela and her aunt find themselves in front of the mansion of a very rich family. Fusen is the only relative raising the baby after her parents died. They ended up here today because the woman will be working here as a maid. From the first minutes it becomes clear that Fusen is a very cruel aunt because she scolds and beats the girl for any disobedience. Once in the house of the rich, the baby finds a nursery and plays with a plush toy in the form of an angel. Soon another little girl named Naz appears in the room, the granddaughter of the owner of the house. During the conversation, Angela realizes that this is a spoiled child who does not know about tact and manners. Naz treats Angela rudely after learning that she is just the daughter of a maid. The girl declares that from this day on she will be her personal servant, carrying out any order. Angela is helpless in this situation, so she agrees to the conditions of the granddaughter of the owner of the house. Years pass and Angela turns from a small child into an adult girl, still serving Naz in her family's mansion. After preparing a towel and soap accessories, she hurries into the bedroom to wake the girl up. Naz reminds her that her secret partner is still in the room and asks the servant to take him out of the house so that none of the relatives can see it. Obeying the order and escorting the guy out, Angela returns to the house and notices that the guy named Mate is calling Naz. The maid has strong feelings for the guy and carefully looking at his photo, dreams of being next to him, but realizes that she is unworthy of this because of her different status and financial security. Naz ignores the guy's calls, believing that he deserves to suffer and should be nervous before she doesn't answer him. While continuing to work at home, Angela remembers how she first met Mate. When she was a child, the guy turned out to be very sweet and friendly. He became the only one who was able to make friends with the housekeeper's withdrawn niece, so she sincerely adores him and dreams of being around. Alas, all this is impossible and even their friendship was constantly hindered by Naz, a girl from one of the richest families in Turkey. Currently, Maid is studying abroad and returning to Turkey by plane. At the same time, Fusen helps the head of the family to put himself in order and tells about all the rumors and gossip that she has managed to collect about other household members lately. Soon, the whole family gathers at a large dining table and receives a call from Belgian, informing her that her nephew mate is returning home. It is expected that today the guy will propose to Naz, so everyone is looking forward to this moment. Hurrying to her bedroom, the rich man's granddaughter tries to find a suitable dress and is very nervous because the red dress is still reserved at the atelier, but they can't bring it in any way. Observing the girl's behavior, Angela is angry at her, believing that Naz does not deserve such a wonderful guy like Mate, but she has to listen to her in everything, otherwise the servant may be kicked out of the house. Hurrying to the atelier, the maid checks the red dress and decides to try it on. At the same time, Met comes to the same store to buy a business suit. Taking his clothes, he goes to the fitting room and meets Angela changing inside. Embarrassed, the guy apologizes to the maid, as he put her in an awkward position. Meanwhile, at Met's house, Aunt is trying to persuade Mother to attend the engagement. Galton refuses, as she is still worried about her late husband and does not want to attend the solemn event. Met's mother has been severely depressed for several years and is afraid to leave the house. Noticing that Naz and Injili have the same size, Met asks the girl to help her choose a dress as a gift. Having picked up a beautiful option, the guy asks the maid to try on clothes to see how she sits on it. A minute later, the girl comes out of the fitting room and shocks the guy with her beauty, which is why he can't take his eyes off her. Saying goodbye, Mate accidentally touches the girl's hand and offers to have dinner tonight. Soon the guy arrives at the family's house, greeting his aunt and grandfather. Once inside, he meets and supports his mother, realizing that it is still difficult for her after the premature departure of her beloved spouse. At the same time, Naz slaps the maid in the face as she is disappointed with the dress that Angela brought. In the evening, the rich man's granddaughter still decides to apologize to the tearful girl for her reaction but does it from above without even looking in her direction. Late in the evening, the Meat family arrives at the Naz family house but the guy himself is not with them. Angry because of this, 
the rich woman loses control of her emotions and again takes out all her anger on the unfortunate servant. Trying to regain a good attitude towards herself, Angela goes to a jewelry store and repairs Naz's gold chain, which she tore the day before. Realizing that her life is pathetic and worthless, Angela decides on a crazy act and goes on a date with Meat. During the dinner, the girl realizes that Meat did not recognize her as Naz's servant. Deciding not to reveal identity, Angela calls another name, coming up with false information about herself. A little later, Meat gives the girl the same red dress and admits that he actually bought it for her. The couple feels mutual sympathy, as a result of which the guy and the girl get closer to each other. It seems that they can end up in the same bed, but the guy walks away to treat the girl to tea. Upon returning, he notices that Angela has run away and returns home in a taxi with tears and eyes, regretting the act. Back at the rich woman's house, the maid helps her put on a gold chain, when suddenly she hears a knock on the door. Meat came to Nads to give the girl a bouquet of flowers, but she reacts aggressively and throws flowers on the ground. A rich beauty makes a scandal, as she was waiting for a guy much earlier and hoped that he would make her a marriage proposal. Angela watches what is happening from afar and hardly holds back tears. Naz closes herself in the bedroom and gets nervous, but Mate follows her and tries to explain himself. He justifies being late with traffic jams, but the girl does not believe and asks to give the real reason. Angry, Med admits that he liked another one and had dinner with her. Naz finds out about this and almost faints. Begging to open the window to get some fresh air, Injilat is eavesdropping on their conversation and feels joy, realizing that her sympathy for Met turned out to be mutual. Apologizing to the family, Met suggests postponing the engagement a little. A minute later, Naz comes down to the relatives and informs them that he was joking, since the engagement will take place immediately. Meat is surprised by the girl's strange reaction, but listens to her words and puts an engagement ring on her finger. The couple decides to celebrate at a nightclub and Naz insists that Injila go with her. The girl is afraid of meeting with Meat and hides in the toilet while the couple dances and has fun. Some time later, the guy decides to go to the toilet, where he accidentally meets Injila and decides to run away with her from a nightclub. Naz notices that Mate has disappeared and goes to the toilet after him, but does not find her future husband. Meanwhile, Mate and Injila are left alone to talk. The guy admits that he was disappointed when the girl ran away from the date, but he is glad that they met again. The couple arranges for another date, after which Meat returns to his bride and helps her walk to the car. Realizing that it's too late, the guy decides to stay at Naz's house, which shocks Angela. The girl is afraid to meet him face to face in this house, so she hides under the bed before Meat returns to the bride's bedroom. In the morning, as soon as Meat goes to the shower, Angela gets out from under Naz's bed and runs away. During breakfast, the family discusses the marriage contract of Mate and Naz, as it is very important to properly manage the capital and subsequent inheritance. A little later, the young couple goes to Mate's house so that Naz can talk to his mother. Some time later, Naz's housekeeper appears in the guy's house and confesses to her that she should marry someone else. He does not have feelings for her and would like to be with Angela. Naz returns to the guy's house to quarrel with him again because the rich woman likes negative emotions and insults. After hearing the bride outside the door, Med hides Injila in his bedroom, after which he launches Naz into the house. The distraught bride suspects the guy of cheating and searches all the rooms. One of the doors turns out to be locked, and she demands to open it, otherwise the scandal will intensify. Having no other choice, Mate opens the door and allows the bride to enter the room. After checking every corner, Naz makes sure that the groom is not cheating on her, but does not realize that Injila managed to hide behind the closet. The couple leaves to discuss the prenup and the upcoming wedding. Injila remains alone in a locked room and panics because of a phobia that appeared in her childhood. Aunt Fusen was extremely cruel to her niece and often locked her in the pantry when the girl did something wrong. After meeting with relatives, Mate offers to renounce the marriage contract, believing that this is an insult to feelings, but the grandfather is categorically determined since he values only money. The family swears but understands that there is no point in convincing the old man because he knows that each of the young people is capable of treason and this can lead to the loss of capital earned for several generations. At some point, Galton asks his son if he really has feelings for Nas, 
but the guy is silent and does not answer because he does not want to lie. Naz realizes that Meat has disgraced her in front of the whole family and declares that wants to break up. Upon returning home, Naz tells her mother about everything, claiming that she does not want to be with a man who does not have feelings for her. The girl's mother is not going to listen to excuses as their family's company has failed. They are practically beggars, so Naz is obliged to marry Met so that his family can help them stay afloat and become rich again. Naz declares that it is not money that is important to her, but feelings, as a result of which she gets a slap in the face from her mother. The woman claims that her daughter is a spoiled and frivolous girl, unable to take responsibility for herself and her family. Some time later, Mate returns home and opens the door to free Angela. He apologizes for what happened, but the girl is angry because she had to stay locked up for several hours. In the evening, Mate invites the girl to dinner to apologize once again. Being next to him, she remembers a photo they took together when they were children. During the dinner, the guy admits that he can't take his eyes off the girl because she is very beautiful and he wants to appreciate every minute spent next to her. Angela is pleased with this, but at the same time she gets upset, afraid that he will hate her when he finds out the truth. At the same time, the families of the guy and the girl gather at the restaurant to discuss their quarrel and find a way to reconcile Meat and Nance. Meanwhile, Naz loses control of her emotions and tears up her clothes, not noticing that the servants are watching her from the side. Upon returning home, Angela finds the girl in her bed and sees that she is completely out of mood. After talking, she learns that Naz suffers from a nervous breakdown and is having a hard time parting with her fiance. A little later, Angela goes to the rich woman and asks her to forgive her for her absence. Afraid to tell the truth, the girl lies and says that she was in the hospital and Naz asks not to leave her because she needs someone to be there at a difficult moment. Realizing that Naz is going through what happened hard, Angela promises to help bring Mate back and cries because she doesn't really want to. Some time later, Naz calls Meat and asks for forgiveness, offering to reconcile. She admits that she was helped to calm down and find the strength to apologize first by the maid, whom Naz wants to introduce her fiance to. Seeing Injila in front of him and learning the real name of the housekeeper, Maid is shocked. The guy is very angry, but pretends to see the girl for the first time so as not to quarrel with the bride standing nearby. A little later, the couple manages to meet in the kitchen alone to discuss what happened. Mate takes out his anger on the girl, considering her a bad person and a liar. He assumes that the housekeeper was playing with people's feelings. Angela declares that she did not mean anything wrong and their meeting was an accident. She remembers the guy from childhood and admits that she was in love with him all this time, so she couldn't refuse to date and communicate. Soon Naz appears in the kitchen and Mate flirts with her on purpose to make Angela feel angry and jealous. Stating that the maid was the reason for their reconciliation, the guy offers to invite her to dinner together. Some time later, the families of the bride and groom gather at the maid house and sit down at the dining table. They hear screams coming from the bedroom, as Belgin has locked Galton in the bedroom and won't let her go down to the others. Escaping from the bedroom, Met's mother rushes to the others and declares that she is not satisfied with her son's marriage. The guy objects and Galton agrees to the wedding but only on condition that Meat and his future wife will live in their house without concluding a prenuptial agreement. Naz's mother is disappointed, realizing that the guy's family will not help them financially, which will lead to complete bankruptcy. A little later, the girl's mother suggests that Belgin postpone the wedding a little, since they did not have time to prepare for it. She believes that this is the most high-profile event in Turkey, so they need to rent a famous wedding hall and make the holiday unforgettable. Aunt Mate believes that these are just formalities and the happiness of the guy and his bride is much more important, but Naz's mother thinks otherwise. Meanwhile, Fusen meets with his niece and declares that she could take advantage of the beauty and get Mate. The aunt believes that a rich groom could pull the girl and her relative out of poverty, which shocks the modest Angela. In the evening, the housekeeper has to comfort Naz, as the girl believes that their feelings are not real and Mate will betray her as soon as he has the opportunity. Angela calms the rich girl and convinces her that the guy really loves her and will never change. In the morning, Met meets with Naz's cousin, who lives abroad. The guy specially came to the wedding and congratulates Mate on the upcoming event. Naz's mother scolds the girl again as she refused the marriage contract and money. 
Ozan arrives at his sister's house and pays attention to the charming Injila. A little later, he meets with the housekeeper in the kitchen and begins to flirt, showing his sympathy. Their conversation is interrupted by Mate, who is jealous of Injila for his fiancée's cousin. Naz tells the guy that she is ready to become his wife and agrees to all conditions, but only if he buys a house in her name. Back at home, Naz comforts his mother and informs her that Mate has agreed to buy and donate a house. A week later, the wedding day arrives. The family is pleasantly surprised by the organization of the party, and grandfather's mate and Naz are quarreling, trying to decide where the husband and wife will live after the wedding. Meanwhile, Naz offers Injila to have fun and prank the guests. To do this, the girls must switch places, as a result of which the housekeeper will impersonate the bride. Everything is happening as planned by Naz, who hid her face behind a mask. Meat kidnaps the bride and takes her to a separate room to lift the veil hiding her face. Having done this, Met sees Injila in front of him and starts shouting at the girl, assuming that she decided to ruin the wedding. Naz saw all this in quarrels with her future husband, demanding that he not raise his voice at her housekeeper. Met realizes that the prank is Naz's idea and he insulted Injila in vain, but it's too late because the girl is crying. After everyone leaves for the hall, Mate returns to the room to apologize to Injila. The girl would like to hit him in the face, but the guy catches her hand and prevents it. The families of the bride and groom continue to conflict a little, as not everything is going according to their plan. Some time later, Naz's mother forbids the housekeeper to appear at the ceremony, believing that she could ruin the wedding. The rich woman protects the girl who has become her best friend and insists that Injila be among the guests. Angry, the mother locks the girls in the room, and Naz calls Meet to tell her what happened. Taking what is happening to heart, Injila collects her things and decides to leave the house of the rich forever, but Naz stops her. The next morning, Injila helps the girl wake up and get ready. The wedding has been postponed, so they rush to the house of the Mate family to complete the preparations for the ceremony. At some point, Injila and Mate go to the car to pick up the bride's gifts. The guy offers a date because he is disappointed in Naz and considers her evil, but the housekeeper convinces him otherwise, believing that the rich man's granddaughter is a very good and kind person. The girl goes to the house, but Mate pursues her to sort out their relationship. Angela does not want to touch on this topic and informs that she has decided to leave home. Mate confesses his feelings to the housekeeper and declares that he will not allow her to leave the house. At the same time, Naz and her mother are fighting again, as the woman does not want the housekeeper to live in the same house with a young married couple. The girl's mother is convinced that a young and beautiful housekeeper can make Mate fall in love with herself, but Naz does not care about her mother's opinion, which offends her greatly, which is why they fight and the mother leaves the house. Angela asks the rich girl to apologize to her mother, because this is a native and close person who should not be offended so much. While Naz meets with his grandfather and listens to lectures because of a quarrel with his mother, Injila, and Ozen go to a flower shop. During the conversation, the girl learns how much money is needed to leave Turkey. Cousin Naz offers to do it for free and promises to keep a housekeeper, but she refuses, considering it wrong. Naz and his mother reconcile, and Ozen tells Mit that Injila asked for help to leave Turkey. The guy is shocked by this because he has feelings for the girl and does not want her to leave. After meeting with the housekeeper, Met asked her not to leave. At the same time, Naz enters the bedroom and says that the conflict with his mother has been resolved, so Injila can continue to live in their house. Having driven the groom away, the rich woman asks the housekeeper to help with the wedding dress and jewelry. Injila puts on a red dress and gets too hot. Frightened, Naz tears the strap of her dress and asks the housekeeper to put on something more modest, as a result of which she changes into a black dress. Soon the wedding ceremony begins and the guests begin to have fun. Angela gives the bride a bag and informs her that this is her last memory of her late mother. Naz is very touched by the girl's sincerity and thanks her for such a gift. While no one is watching, Angela gives her passport to Ozen so that he can prepare the documents for her departure from Turkey. Mate finds out about this and again asks the girl not to go anywhere. She is not ready to stay close to the couple, as she has strong feelings for him and believes that the best solution is to distance themselves from each other. Mate offers to escape from the wedding right now and start a happy life together somewhere far from this place, but the girl refuses, 
because she does not want to become a cause of suffering for Nas. Angela leaves, and Met sits sad and lonely in one of the bedrooms. Soon Nas finds him and finds out that Mate regrets the wedding, believing that they were in a hurry. Nas reassures her future husband, suggesting that he was just nervous. Soon the couple goes out to the guests to become husband and wife. Grandpa's young wife appears in the hall and angers Nas. The girl does not miss the opportunity and overturns a glass on the dress of her grandfather's wife so that she leaves the wedding ceremony. At the end of the wedding, Nas throws a wedding bouquet, which catches in Gila, which Meat notices and begins to feel sad even more. In the evening, a young married couple goes home, where they meet their grandfather's wife again. She sprays the bride with champagne, which causes a fight between them. After going to her bedroom, Naz calls Injila and asks for help to take off her wedding dress. While Naz is taking a shower, Injila and Met are chatting. The girl admits that she cannot be in the same house with the wife of a man who she adores, but Met asks her to stay, because he only wants to be with her. Injila is touched by the guy's words, but does not answer anything as Naz comes out of the bathroom and asks the housekeeper for a favor. Despite the agreement, Naz cannot stay at the groom's house as she hears the voice of her mother and other people who greatly annoy the bride. The family tries to stop the girl, but she is determined and returns home to her bed to feel safe. The next morning, Angela prepares breakfast and asks another maid to take the food in her place. Meat is sleeping on the couch in the living room, and she doesn't want to open the door so as not to accidentally wake him up. Seeing a sleeping guy, Angela dreams of him, but realizes that these are just fantasies that cannot be realized. A little later, the housekeeper meets with Naz and encourages the girl, persuading her to return to her husband's house to get used to a new place. Naz understands that she did wrong and put the guy in a difficult position in front of his family, so she agrees with Angela's words. While the couple is solving household issues, Angela declares that she needs to visit her grandmother, so she will not be able to go to the Meg house with them. A little later, the housekeeper meets with her grandmother, whose aunt and her husband were visiting. The man suggests that the girl not stay at home and get to know a young man who is able to propose to her. It also becomes known that Angela's grandmother was engaged in sewing and was in with the rich Count Zia, but their romantic story ended tragically. Angela receives a message from Ozan and runs away from his family to go to the airport. Acting provocatively, Naz's cousin takes pictures of the housekeeper at the airport and sends the picture to Meet to annoy him. The guy realizes that Ozan specifically replaced the girl on the trip in order to get closer and start a relationship. After lying to his wife and leaving her with her grandfather, Mate rushes to the airport to stop Angela and not let her go anywhere. A couple notices each other and stops, not hiding their feelings. Realizing that Ozan can spill everything to Nance, the girl pretends to be a caught fugitive trying to escape from work. Mate plays along with her and forces the maid to return to her work duties. Ozan quarrels with Meat, reproaching him for his terrible attitude towards Injila, as if she were his slave. Meat informs that Naz cannot live without a girl, because they have become friends, so he will do everything so that Injila does not leave anywhere and serves in their house. Meanwhile, Injila's grandmother and aunt are waiting for the girl to visit to introduce her to the groom named Cater. The guy came here with his family and is very upset that Injila ignores the acquaintance. Soon the girl returns home and apologizes to her aunt. She tries to get to know and communicate with a potential fiance, but realizes that he is not able to interest her. The girl goes to the kitchen, but Cater persistently pursues her, despite the fact that Angela openly ignores the potential groom. Meat returns home and apologizes to her grandfather for leaving in the middle of dinner, but gets slapped in the face because family is the most important thing in any person's life. Meanwhile, Kadir and Injila are holding an engagement ceremony against the girl's will. She is so shocked by what happened that she does not mind and understands how much her aunt and grandmother want it. Alone, the girl cries because she does not want to marry a person for who she doesn't feel anything. Fusen calms his niece and informs her that Naz's mother ordered her to marry Injila in order to distance her from the young married couple. When Angela shows up at Naz's house, the girl slaps the maid in the face for wanting to escape to another country. The housekeeper admits that she wanted to run away only because they are trying to marry her to that person. Seeing tears in Injili's eyes, the rich girl promises to help and break off the engagement with Cater. 
May overhears the girl's conversation and tries to talk to the housekeeper, but she avoids him, begging him not to interfere in her life and relationships. It soon turns out that Cater is a very strange young man who not only does not trust his future bride, but also wants to organize surveillance of her. Grandma realizes that Angela is unhappy with the engagement and feels that she has feelings for another person. Naz and Angela arrive home and quarrel with their mother because she asked the housekeeper's aunt to find her a fiance. The mother denies any involvement in this and Naz decides to personally meet with Kadir in a cafe to see if he would suit Angela. After meeting, the girl asks provocative questions and insults the man to see his reaction. Kadir asks not to get involved in their relationship, which is why he and Naz are fighting a lot. At one point, Kadir attacks the girl and punches her in the face. When Mate sees what is happening, he attacks Kadir and pushes him, causing him to fall to the ground. After meeting with the housekeeper's family, Naz and Mitt declare that she will not become the wife of a bad and cruel man. Meanwhile, Kadir calls his friends and persuades them to take revenge on Meat for his audacity. Arriving at the girl's house, Kadir quarrels with Meat, which causes a fight between them. Angela asks everyone to calm down and gets an opportunity to speak out. The girl agrees to become Kadir's wife, which shocks everyone present. Naz asks her not to do anything stupid, because yesterday the girl wanted to escape from Turkey with her cousin. Naz tries to do the best, but Angela gets mad at her and asks her to stop interfering in her personal life and treats her like her toy. Angela runs away from home and asks Kadir to take her as far away as possible. Along the way, the couple quarrels as the groom of the housekeeper suspects that she has some feelings for Ozan. The girl denies this and claims that she wanted to escape from Turkey even before she met him. Arriving at Angela's house, Kadir informs her family that the girl wanted to escape. The grandfather quarrels with his granddaughter, saying that she has disgraced their family. The grandmother stands up for her granddaughter and reminds her that no one has the right to judge her and she can make decisions herself. A little later, Mate calls Angela and informs him that his wife had a nervous breakdown when she left and asks the girl to come back. Angela rushes home to the guy, but finds herself trapped as there is no one else here. He asks the girl not to marry another man because he's still into her and wants to be with her. Angela rejects the guy, saying that he is a selfish coward who is not capable of male actions. Upon returning home, the housekeeper meets Kadir with a bouquet of flowers and forgives him for his jealousy and inappropriate behavior. The old man decides to meet with Angela to talk to her about life. Soon, his grandfather from the second family comes to him and promises to leave security, as he has heard that Kadir broke into their house and does not want this to happen again. Meanwhile, Angela talks to her grandmother and admits that she feels guilty about what happened to her parents. On the last day of their lives, they left to buy her a gift and got into an accident. It is because of this that grandfather hates his granddaughter and has never been involved in her upbringing. The grandmother calms the girl down as it was an accident and she is not responsible for it. Some time later, an elderly servant calls Angela's grandmother and informs her that grandpa mate is determined and wants to talk to the girl. In the morning, grandma tells her granddaughter that she needs to buy an engagement ring. Kader calls the girl and offers the same thing, but she says she will do it with her grandmother, but the groom insists that his mother go with them. A little later, Met's relatives meet with Kadir to remind him of the proprieties of behavior. The man is not ready to admit a mistake and apologize for his behavior, because Meet and Naz insulted him and prevented the wedding with Angela. Upon learning the truth, the old man slaps Meet in the face and offers to forget about the conflict situation. A little later, Meet and Kadir meet again, as the guy decided to buy his business. Later, Angela's grandmother meets with the old man, reminding him that he ruined her life and left her pregnant. She will not allow this to happen to her granddaughter and will protect her to the end. At the same time, Angela meets with Meat and asks to stay away from her. Kader sees the couple and decides to pounce on Meat, but the guards restrain him. Grandpa Met also sees the conflict and offers Kader a joint business to settle the conflict, but he refuses this option. Kader and Angela quarrel again, but the girl calms the future groom, promising to become his wife. The old man is arguing with Mate about buying parking, since he had no right to do so. A little later, Naz meets with Mate's grandfather and asks him not to be angry with her husband because she asked him to prevent the marriage of Injila and Kader. 
Some time later, the housekeeper comes to her house, after which Naz and Met visit her. The rich woman asks Injila not to be mad at her, because she loves her like a sister. While Mate apologizes for the conflict with Kadir, Naz calls Ozen and asks his cousin for help. Meanwhile, the old man meets with Kadir again and offers to build a new parking lot, which they will manage together. Realizing that he is facing one of the richest people in Turkey, the man changes his mind and agrees to the terms of the deal. Naz meets with her cousin and asks him to marry Injila in order to protect her from Kadir. Ozen refuses, so the rich woman threatens him, promising to tell him that her cousin often takes money from her, losing it in the casino. Realizing that there is no choice, Ozen agrees to fight for Injila's heart and try to marry her. While the families are dealing with financial difficulties, Grandfather Naz is communicating with Belgian. Once he wanted to marry her, but Grandfather Mate was against it because of the large age difference. In the evening, everyone gathers at the same table and feels the tension in the air. Injila and Kadir leave as they feel superfluous at this feast. Meanwhile, a quarrel occurs in the Mate family. Grandfather dreams of hitting Belgian, but does not do so, after which she leaves the family home. Injila and Kadir go to a cafe, when suddenly Nads calls the girl. She asks to find Meat because she suffers a lot without him. Injila asks Kadir to give her a ride, after which she finds Meat in a nightclub. The guy does not want to return home and asks not to interfere in his life. Upon learning that Injila did not go home, Kadir arranges a quarrel, calling the girl a liar. She tells the groom the truth, but this only increases the scandal because Injila must ask her future husband's permission for every action. In the evening, Nads calls Injila and informs her that she has developed an elaborate plan that will allow her to break off her engagement with Kader. Mate finds out about his wife's plan and tries to prevent it, but Injila asks the guy not to interfere in her life. Despite all this, Injila admits that she still has strong feelings for Mate and does not suspect that Naz's mother heard their conversation and heard a terrible secret. Meanwhile, Ozan communicates with the old man and proves that his desire to marry Injila is honest, because before that the couple tried to escape abroad. Believing the guy's words, the grandfather promises to resolve this issue and asks Ozan to prepare for the wedding with Injila. Meet and Naz are fighting over a ridiculous plan to marry a housekeeper to her cousin. Naz explains that he is only doing this to get rid of Kader, who is unworthy of such a beautiful girl. Naz's mother meets with the old man and tells him that she heard Injila confess her feelings for Met. The old man is skeptical of her words, assuming that it was about Ozan, not Meet. Soon they meet Ozan, and he confirms his intentions to marry Injila. At the same time, the housekeeper is in the Mate house and is crying because she is tired of what is happening. The guy supports and calms the girl, promising to listen to her. Injila admits that she does not want to marry either Kadir or Ezan as this is her life and her choice. Golton asks the girl to bring something to eat, after which he follows her into the kitchen. The woman sees in Injila's eyes that she truly has the real feelings for her son mate. The woman is sincerely glad about this and asks not to give up on it, because Injila is a wonderful girl and perfectly suits the guy. Golton admits that her depression was the result of unrequited love, so she asks not to repeat her mistakes. The family surrounds Ozen and interrogates him to understand why he decided to marry Injila. An old housekeeper calls the girl's grandmother to tell her about what is happening in the house of the rich. Grandma is thinking about telling the old man the truth about Injila, because this is his granddaughter, but she doesn't want to do it yet. Meanwhile, Ozen's mother makes Injila to go to the hospital to make sure that the girl is not pregnant. After leaving the hospital, the girl meets Kadir, who has been following her all this time. Realizing that he is crazy, Angela shouts at Kadir for his behavior and makes him to apologize for his inadequacy. The family drives Kadir away and breaks off the engagement, believing that Ozen is an economically more profitable option. The grandfather insists on marrying his granddaughter, but the grandmother resists this and gets slapped in the face. The old man Azana is also not happy about the marriage, believing that he needs a more beautiful and intelligent girl. Having quarreled with her husband, Injila's grandmother meets with Naz's grandfather and informs him that this is their joint granddaughter, so Ozan cannot marry her, because they are relatives. In the evening, two families gather at a table to discuss the upcoming wedding. One of the old men prevents this and invites Kadir, 
who has prepared a surprise in the form of an immediate wedding with Angela. The girl declares that she does not want to become Ozan's wife and, having shocked her relatives, leaves with Kadir on the street. Here she admits that she does not have feelings for him and wants to break up. After returning the wedding ring, the girl returns home and tells her family about everything. Grandfather and aunt quarrel Injila, after which they kick her out of the house. Meet calls Injila and finds out that she has nowhere to spend the night and is loitering on the street. The grandmother finds out about the incident and asks her granddaughter to return home, but she refuses, since Meg invited her to his house. Kadir returns home in tears, but his mother calms him down, convincing him that a man will meet a girl better than this housekeeper. Meanwhile, Angela arrives at Metz and the couple is left alone. Being sincere, the guy admits that at first he wanted to use her, but later realized that he really had feelings for her and could not imagine his life without Angela. He offers the girl to escape from Turkey and live together, but she refuses again, fearing to offend Nas. Despite this, Mate manages to persuade Injila to change her mind because Nas is cruel and treats people like toys, so she will not be sad and will find a new husband and friend. The next morning, Injila goes to Nas. The girl grabs the maid by the hair and drags her into her room, reproaching her for refusing to marry Ozan. Naz turns out to be extremely cruel and rude, which scares Injila. The girl realizes that she is still just a servant for her, who must follow orders. During lunch, Injila realizes that Naz considers her his property, which angers the girl even more. During the conversation, the housekeeper declares that she wants to quit. A little later, Naz insults the girl and humiliates her, reminding her that she is just a poor servant, and now she is homeless. Met sees what is happening and asks Naz to stop bullying, allowing Injila to go home. A little later, Naz calls Kadir and offers to make a deal, during which she will help the man return the bride. In return, she asks Kadir to make his wife to return to work as a housekeeper. Naz buys Kadir clothes and helps him change his appearance to please the girl. At the same time, Mate and Injila dream of traveling together. Grandma meets her old secret partner again and asks the old man for help. Naz's mother, who is waiting for the meeting, overhears the conversation and finds out that Injila is her niece. In the evening, Mate packs up and runs away from home, going to the airport. Naz's mother overheard his conversation on the phone and informs her daughter about it. Meet and Injila prepare to escape by collecting the remnants of their belongings. Meet opens the gate and prepares to leave, when suddenly he meets Naz who announced that she was pregnant. Angela hears this and runs away, realizing that they are superfluous and have no right to destroy a happy family.